First and foremost, I want to tell you guys exactly what this move is. Now LeBron does a form of a misdirection, touch, step back. Now the misdirection means that the ball is gonna be in one side of his frame, and then he's gonna step back in the opposite direction. The touch component of the step back means that the ball is hanging in the air, and that's when he's gonna reach for space. So a lot of step backs out there are usually happen when the ball hits the ground. Ball hits ground, the pickup occurs, and then we reach. But for that misdirection touch step back, the ball's gonna be floating in air, and then that touch occurs when the ball's floating as we reach for opposite space. Okay, what LeBron James does that's so different from other people, and it's one thing that I'm gonna teach you guys how to misdirect your attention, is that he actually looks down at the basketball. Super odd, super telling, but he, when he's going into that step back, he'll visually look down at the basketball and hold his glance and then quickly reach for space to come back to a shot. Now, if this is you using this move, I'm gonna suggest that you do not do that. But what I would like you to do is take your direction, take your attention, and look opposite of where you intend on going. So if I'm sizing up a defender here, I'm attacking and I'm looking over their left shoulder. And as a ball is floating in my pocket and they start to slowly come over to uh, take off my right hand drive, that's when I'm gonna quickly reach for space in the opposite direction. Now, once again, as I said, LeBron James looks at the basketball. It's one of those things that not too many people realize, but you're gonna see a lot of these clips that literally has him looking straight down at the basketball as if there was some math equation on here he was trying to solve. And it does a great job of just really changing his tempo when doing that. It gives him a, kind of like that mental note of saying, hey, I have to slow down my body, I gotta relax, boom, and then I'm gonna quickly reach for space. So let's go through a couple reps. We focus on just delaying that ball. We're gonna start in a little bit closer, so that way we can really get the timing of it down. Now, before we start moving into a full game speed or game spacing three-point shot using this misdirection touch step back, I want you guys to start in close and really focus on the timing. Okay, so what I wanna do is I'm just gonna let that ball relax and float outside of my pocket. And then as that ball's floating, I'm gonna push off and reach for space. Now, this is not a travel. I want you guys to understand that your travel or your two steps only start once the ball comes to rest. So as I let this ball float, I have the opportunity to dribble again, or I can pick up. So a lot of times people get really confused with this, but I'm letting you guys know right here, right now, that this is not a travel violation. So we're gonna let ball float outside pocket, and as that ball is floating, as long as we can let it float, we're gonna touch off that ball side foot and reach for space in the opposite direction. Now, as we let that ball float, I want you guys just to look in the same direction as the basketball. One, quick reach for space and gather into your shot. One, quick reach for space and gather into our shot. Allowing that ball to float, and as that ball's floating for as long as it can, boom, quickly push off that ball side foot and reach for space in the opposite direction. Now here's another tip that's very important to note. So LeBron James is a righty, and what he does is nine times out of 10, LeBron's gonna use this move when basketball's in his right hand. So he'll touch and reach to shoot that step back going to his left. And this is because it's a lot easier for righties to step back going left because it allows them the opportunity to lock that shooting arm into space and at the uh, pointing at the rim. It also gives them a nice firm foundation as they reach for space to gather into that shot, planning on their strong pivot foot or their left foot. Now for me as a lefty, 
I'm gonna do it both ways for you guys and I want you guys to practice this going each way because it's a great move to have in your arsenal being able to use it in either direction. And you're gonna see how when I do it to my left or with my left hand, it's a lot smoother and more consistent of a shot because I'm able to get comfortably into that step back going right. So let's go through a couple of reps here now in extended position so you can see this in a game action. Now it's super important that we understand defensive positioning when going into this misdirection touch step back. So what you'll notice as you've been going through all these, as I've been going through all these examples, is that my shoes, which emulate the defender, are gonna be positioned a certain direction when I reach. So I'm gonna know, I know for a fact that I'm gonna use this move if my defender is giving me this space. So I'll put dribble in my left hand, so that way I can take my defender's top foot, if he's forcing me right, which a lot of times defenders force me right because I'm a lefty. So I'll put ball on that left hand to get my defender's foot to drop a little bit. And then when I see that action, I'm gonna plant and reach opposite. Because it's a lot harder for a defender to close out going forward than it is for them to close out ball side, so that top foot side. So if my defender was positioned like this and I had dribble in the right hand and I reach for space this way, it's a lot easier for them to contest this shot because it's a shorter distance and they already have that foot lunged at me. But if I reach for space away from where they're positioned, away from their sternum is pointing, that's gonna make it a lot more successful, give me a lot more space to get my shot off. So I want you guys to make sure we're paying attention to when we would use this move, because that's equally, if not more important. So another crucial tip when going through this is understanding that you can use it in a hand-to-hand -hand exchange. So this misdirection touch step back doesn't need to be just the same hand getting into that plant and then stepping back in the opposite direction. A lot of times when you're trying to elevate your game, we want to be able to add certain mechanics to it. So for a misdirection touch step back, a great way to get your defender displaced is going into a hand-to-hand -hand exchange where you just change hands, plant, and then change directions. We can do this with a crossover. You can do this with a between the legs. You can do this with a behind the back. Okay, there's many different variations, and it's just, once again, a great way to get that defender displaced on that hand-to-hand -hand exchange, so that way you can set up your step back. Hope this drill helped you. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Drop a comment on how this helped your game, or even if you still have questions, let me know in the comment section below. As I said, subscribe, like, do it all. There's gonna be a lot more fire content for you guys coming soon. Yeah, yeah.